Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to secure our switch a little bit more than we have so far. We know that when we press return to get started it takes us directly into user exec mode and normally what we would like to do is force someone to authenticate before they can even get there. So that's what we're going to do at this point. I'm going to start by getting into global config. And in order to configure the login or the authentication, if you wish, on the console, we actually have to configure that as a line. So the console is considered to be a line component within the device itself. So for that, I'm going to use the command line, and I'm going to configure the console line, and the identifier for the console is zero. So line con zero. And you can see now that we are in the line config mode rather than the global config mode. There are two commands that we need to execute here. The first one's going to be login. And notice that the response I get back is that the login is disabled until a password is set. So we do need to set the password that we use for authentication. I will enter password and what we want our password to be and press enter, and we are basically configured for that now. So let's try it out. Back to privilege mode, out to get started. I press return to get started. We see the message of the day come up, and now we're being prompted for a password where we haven't before. Enter the password that we configured, and now we are into user exec mode and hardening our switch to only allow people to access user exec mode if they have the correct password is that easy. That's it for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.